I've never, I've never hit someone yet. Oh, you actually? No, yeah, it's my first time. I think you call out. Okay. Yo, I'm, cra I'm, I'm nervous, yo. What is up my skinny legends? Welcome back to Kenny KO where you are guaranteed to be triggered. This video goes out to everyone who doubted my original Logan Paul call out where I had an iffy feeling that Logan Paul somehow faked his slap video in order to get out of the competition in Russia. Now lucky for you guys watching the channel, I actually have the man himself who was slapped and graced by the hand of Logan Paul on the channel with us now. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, please make sure to turn on post notifications and slap a like on the video along with a comment down below if you find this entertaining or somewhat intriguing and on that note let's get to the interview trap we're giving you the best interview of your life kenny let's roll this down the best interview of my life so on screen we have trap gambino on the left we have slap for cash on the right is that what you guys want to go by in this anything you want to plug your social media you want slap for cash at trapping over vegas trapping over vegas so the reason we have these guys in an interview right now many of you may recognize slap for cash on the right from Logan Paul's recent video where I made, of course, some accusations saying that Logan Paul faked and staged the knockout, the slap on you, slap for cash, in order to get out of the slap championship in Russia. I know you reached out to me afterwards. Um, is there anything you wanted to disclose, whether my accusations were right or wrong? Oh, definitely. Uh, the, the slap wasn't an actual slap. I've been doing this long enough to know. And there was two cameras on there was one camera on the left and there was one camera on the right. Now they showed the video footage from the camera to the right of me, but they didn't use the video footage to the left. These guys are professional at everything they do. Why, do, why wouldn't they want to show the side where he's slapping me? Because he hit me with the palm of his hand and I had to go down regardless to get paid. So, re, so no matter what, I was going to fall down. Um, if I wouldn't have fell down, I wouldn't have got paid. If I wouldn't have fell down, I wouldn't have got the response from the people. Uh, I wouldn't have got as many followers as I got from it. So so let me stop you right there. Um, I guess plain simple, straight to the point. Did you actually get knocked out from the slap itself or was that all staged and fake? I was not knocked out. I know I had to play along with whatever was going on because if I didn't, I was not going to get paid. Uh, towards, I didn't, I didn't actually get paid until towards the end. I got paid a little bit to go down there, and then I got an additional money after the video was filmed. And if you watch, just I to make sure before on, I release this, you actually got paid, correct? <laughs> I did. Just to make yeah, sure I you did. got your money before I release any of this footage or anything. Yes, yeah, so I did. Give, I got my money. Okay. Because, I mean, I know my big thing with my channel and especially being well immersed in YouTube, there's so many fake pranks, fake reactions, fake everything. And even in your bio, of course, you know, you can disclose to the audience, you basically get paid to be slapped. And as an actor, same for you, Trap Gambino, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like, well, if you go on my Instagram, there's a, my, I had a separate, I had an actual cameraman that went down with me. I told him, do not turn the camera off, film everything. And what he got, what the other guys took and cut the footage down, he actually got me being knocked down. He actually got me, once I went to the ground, supposedly I'm supposed to be knocked out, right, Kenny? Uh huh. But how did I pull my shirt over my stomach? Because my shirt actually went up above my stomach at one point. I pulled my shirt over my stomach. And that video got like 150,000 views. Of course, his video got millions of views. So they, they edited it to what they wanted to actually show people, which is him hitting me and I fall to the ground. They don't edit it to where they don't, they don't show the part where I'm laying on the ground and I'm pulling my shirt over my stomach. And you can go on my Instagram and actually watch the full video without it being edited and fixed up to make somebody look good. Okay. Because that's basically what happened. You know, the, the kid wants to, he wants to make it look like, oh, I knocked this dude out. Bro, first off, you gave me a bunch of money to hit me. I fell on the ground. Of course I'm going to fall on the ground. You think it would have got the response? So let me, uh, let me stop you right there just for a second so we can break this down. Did Logan Paul and his team have you verbally or written as basically agree? to get knocked out or to make it look as dramatic and real as possible? He had me sign a waiver 
Okay. Yeah, it, it was a uh, because yeah, I understand he wouldn't release any footage, of course, unless it was a super viral clip. You know, where someone's getting knocked out, hits the ground hard, makes it yeah. look extremely good and cinematic, where he can get out of the slap championship in Russia. But I guess the question more in depth is: Did he break down for you exactly what he wanted you to do after the slap? Like fall to the ground, fake being knocked out as best possible, make it as dramatic as possible. Uh nobody really knew what where to go with this we just knew to basically he was gonna slap me i knew that he wasn't i knew for a fact he wasn't gonna post this if i made him look bad in any sort of way if i didn't fall down i knew there was no chance that it was gonna get posted and i knew there was no chance i was gonna get any amount of money from from him after the video if i didn't go down so it wasn't a situation and i'm not a professional fall man I've never fell on the ground before. So when I did fall down, I just went front first. And I went head first in the ground. The, the, the fall actually me up more than the slap. Okay. And then I also want to touch on in his video, I mean, of course, you watched it. They were um, elaborating on how you didn't know how you got there, who brought you there, your name. They made it as dramatic as possible, basically saying that he knocked you out so hard and so cold that you didn't even know who you were in a sense. Was that all staged and fake as well in order to get a good response from the audience and for the video? The, the slap was real. What happened afterwards was, was uh, the, slap, the slap was real, okay? But me, being, me falling on the ground, I'm not going to go down on a slap, man. Even though he did palm it and try to hit me as hard as he could. Uh, I, I could eat slaps. I've ate slaps by bigger and stronger people than that. Keep in mind, there was also somebody behind him ready to catch him as if they were anticipating him falling. Now, if I'm there and I'm seeing Logan Paul and I'm seeing this guy, who's going to anticipate him falling from a Logan Paul slap? So I'm saying the part after the slap. Do you know what I'm talking about with the footage where you're sitting down afterwards, almost like you're recovering from the knockout? Was that all faked and for the camera to give more of a dramatic feel is what my question is? Yeah, of course. Okay. So that was entirely fake. You didn't actually get knocked out. You weren't unconscious. You actually knew who brought you, your name, everything Logan Paul had disclosed. Yeah, well, go back. Can you pull up the video? Of, can you pull the video off my Instagram? Yeah, I mean, I'll be rolling it for sure throughout this interview so people can see exactly what we're talking about and yeah. get a good video yeah. reference of everything. That's the real video. You know, why did they cut it after I fell down? Why did they cut that? Because they didn't want, they wanted to supposedly see me being knocked out. You know, it, it, like once again, this wasn't a situation where I was able to do anything. They, he had 50 fucking Where's Waldo looking kids there that are just standing around like, oh, Logan's going to slap this guy, you know, and knock him out. Like, well, would you ever suspect that? No. So obviously it's made up to a, to a degree. It wasn't like I was able to hit him back. They told me when I got there, whatever you do, you cannot touch Logan. Yeah, because Logan can't take a hit from me. It's not like a boxing match. If the kid really wanted to box or get in the ring, I would love to do that. But I mean, that's not, exactly why I made the video in the first place saying that it was just seemed really iffy and off to me was because he wasn't reciprocating any hits towards himself. He was just dishing them yeah. out. And then out of nowhere, a day before the slap championship in Russia backs out with this video, of course, supposedly knocking you out. And it just seemed really off to me, especially because just a lot of the variables that were being yeah. broken down through the video. Um, yeah, I yeah. guess another question is, are you able to disclose how much he paid you? For the clip itself or for the video? Uh, I really don't want to go over that amount. That's totally fine. Okay, I totally understand that. I was just curious what he would actually pay in order to try and get this content out of someone. They asked me They asked me before I even went down there, the guy that I know that hooked me up with the whole situation, he said, do you think Logan should back out of the, the contest? And right there, I kind of got iffy about it. And, you know, he's like, would you be willing to come down here and help us with this video? I'm like, yeah. And then I got into me being there showing they wanted to, he wanted to show me how to he wanted me to show him how to slap people and knock them out. How do I do it? Because he had obviously he had seen my videos of me knocking people out. He asked me, How many guys have you knocked out? I said over 30. And we're sitting there talking. And he's like, Well, 
that's that's where I got to where he wanted to slap me. Okay, whatever. I can eat a slap by Logan Paul. And then, obviously, I knew from doing tons of videos, tons of skits, that I'm going to have to fall down. Nobody's going to cheer and root this kid on if I'm just standing there and I'm like, ha ha, I just took the hit. He would have never posted that because it would have made him look bad. So of course I have to fall down. I have to fall down. If I don't fall down, it's not going to get no reaction. They're not going to post it. He's not going to want to look like the alpha male person that he is. He's going to look like a If somebody hits me and I'm like, ha 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 ha, you can't hit No, nobody wants to see that. They all want to see the person slap the guy and then the guy goes on the ground. So that's what happened. We're willing to set up any kind of boxing match and go in the ring with this kid, but they won't let him do that because nobody wants to see this kid get hurt. I'll mop that kid up and down in a boxing in a boxing match. Any I'm actually really week. glad you guys reached out to me and touched on all of this to elaborate what was going on because I don't know if you saw my video. It was very 50-50 where people thought it was 100% legit. Of course, the Logan Paul supporters people yeah. that believed my stance on it and my background in boxing it just seemed really off to me especially someone your size that's been doing it for a while would get knocked out the first time from a Logan Paul slap and I know the camera manipulation the editing and everything to try and make it look a certain way was probably what was taking place so I'm really appreciate you Trap Gambino and of course you slap for cash on the right you know reaching out to me and touching on the whole situation itself also have you ever seen anybody get slapped or punched and they go like this because I was worried about hitting my head on the ground but then at one point I just went straight down have you ever seen if you watch the video I go like this yeah there's like a there's like a pause of me actually kind of like I touched and just went down have you ever seen anybody get knocked out and go down that slow yeah exactly and that's why it just seemed a little bit off to me and then the snoring yeah. and everything during the knockout part where you're laying on the ground it was definitely very believable. Don't get me wrong. So you're a great actor for that. And I totally commend that without a doubt. You did a great job. And I know majority of the viewer base, Logan Paul's viewer base that watched his viral video for sure, probably believe hundred percent that was a legit knockout. So I really hope this video, people get to see the truth of what actually happened. Well, he's a professional man. Two days after I was there filming with him, he had some other guy get in the boxing get into a boxing match with them. You've seen how pathetic that is, you know, and obviously this guy wasn't going at him full speed and hitting him. He doesn't, he doesn't allow people to hit him, bro. That's the one thing how I know he, this is the reason he wanted to get out of it. He doesn't want people to hit him. He, he has a little, where's Waldo, uh, where's Waldo group of people that work for him that tell him what he can and cannot do. This is not a good idea. Letting slap for cash hit Logan in the face is not a good idea because slap or cash would not Logan fall out. Well, of course, yeah, you would end his career with one slap. <laughs> so oh, I totally I understand the liability on that standpoint. Another question, does Logan Paul from his slap actually hit hard or was it actually pretty weak? Well, he hit me with the palm of his hand. He didn't actually hit me with a, with a slap. So with hitting me with the palm of his hand, I mean, I wouldn't, I've been hit harder definitely been hit harder with actual slaps that was nowhere near a slap he knew what he was throwing at me and he tried he tried to hurt me I, I believe that he did try to hurt me because he asked before we even shot the video hey man did this guy sign a waiver did he you know uh, he just the things that they were saying around me mm -hmm. i'm gonna catch him i'm gonna catch him like bro nobody in their right mind would think that you're going to hit me and I'm going to fall backwards. That's an actual knockout. Now, if he would have hit me and I would have went, oh, that would have been different. But he hit me and I went, frontwards. If you hit somebody like this, when I hit people, bam, they go right back, man. Nobody I've ever hit has gone forward, paused for two seconds, and then went to the ground. Watch an actual knockout on my, on my Instagram, slap for cash. Boom. The guy goes back, flying backwards. He's out. There's nobody going frontwards, man. Nobody's ever gone frontwards that I've ever hit, ever. So what, how do I go frontwards, land on the ground, and, and I'm supposedly knocked out, and I pull my shirt over my stomach? If I'm knocked out, Kenny, how am I pulling my shirt over my stomach? 
That's a really good point. And you said, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, that you had the uncut version on your YouTube channel. Is that where it's yeah, at? I got it on my Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Okay. And that's slap for cash guys. Just all one word. I'll have it in the description down below. Of course, so you guys can give trap Gambino and slap for cash a follow. If you guys want to check out the initial video as well, the uncut version of what we're talking about. Um, also, was there any type of anything that took place after the filming, like having you go on the way saying you wouldn't talk about the situation or put out the uncut version, anything like that? No, there was nothing said about no uncut version because I don't think that they thought, I don't think they realized what we got on camera. Uh -huh. uh, not only did we get on camera saying, oh, my turn, because supposedly we're there to, stage a slap contest and he's supposed to slap me and I'm supposed to slap him. That's what it said on TMZ was that it's a bunch of buddies in a backyard uh, practicing, right? For this upcoming slap contest. No, I wasn't even allowed to hit this guy. There was literally, we were outnumbered by several guys. You know, he had, he had like a, a big group of people back there. Cause I think deep down inside, he was afraid of me hurting him. He was afraid of, Oh, I'm going to hit slap. What if slap gets mad and attacks me? When I shook his hand, he was like, oh, he felt wrath in the power. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, he, he um, knew. This is actually, <laughs> you brought up a point I wanted to discuss. Did, at least my take from the initial video was that, as you just touched on, it was kind of go, going to go back and forth where he slaps you, you slap him, almost like the legit slap competition. Yeah. A am I right or wrong with that? Of course, that's exactly how it Because that's how they definitely portrayed it in the video, was that it was going to be legit. Logan Paul would take a hit from you as well as you kind of leading the way, starting the slap on you. So I thought that was very interesting how they kind of cut it as soon as he did the slap on you. I'll tell you. And then I'll, came up with their excuse that he thought it was too dangerous and didn't want to hurt people, and that's why he's backing out of the slap competition in Russia. The kid would not survive. I'll tell you this much. If that kid would have said, hey, slap, I'm gonna pay you to do this video. Hey, slap, I'm gonna pay you to do this video. I'm gonna hit you first, and then you're gonna get to hit me. And I would have said, am I gonna get paid if I knock you out? Yes, you're gonna get paid. Boom, I would have ate that slap all day. Yeah. I would have ate that, laughed at him, and said, my turn, and boom, I would have came off the back foot, and I would have laid It would have been night night for Mr. Paul. And I probably would have had to fight off about 45 where's Waldo looking nerds in the backyard standing <laughs> around Mark Downer and all them guys, man. Uh, all matter of fact, legal waivers. We wanted to do a – check this out. We, want, we were in L.A. for a few days. We wanted to do a, a – <clears throat> on their podcast, we wanted to do an interview on their podcast. And their, his manager, Mike, he wouldn't respond to us. So we looked on his, we looked on his Instagram and they posted where he was at. He was at a restaurant. So I had my driver drive me over to the restaurant. I pop out and he's right in the window. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? And the look on that guy's face was like And I walked in. Obviously, I'm not going to go and swing it on the guy because, you know, that would have caused the police to get there. They don't want that kind of these, these are These are guys who sit behind computers and make stuff up. So when Mike seen me, I said, hey, let me talk to you. And then he said he was going to get back with me. He gave me his phone number. Never heard back from him, man. So it was a thing where they wanted to just get out of the slap contest and they were going to say and do anything possible, even pay Grandmaster Slap a certain amount of money to show up at his house and fall down. Oh, yeah, we don't want to go out to the Russian slap contest. No, bro, you don't want to go to Russia because they actually are going to hit you back. They're not just going to let you hit them and then not get something back. You're going to get hit back at any slap contest. And he did not want to. The number one thing that I was told before I got there, you're not going to be able to hit Logan at all. You're not going to be able to touch him. So don't show up if you're going to get mad for taking a slap because you're not going to be able to hit him back. I'm very glad that you actually touch on that because that is essentially, guys, those of you that are watching what YouTube has become, it's a bunch of basic acting and protection of the YouTubers themselves to try and portray it a certain way, get the most entertainment value out of it. So like I mentioned, I appreciate you guys honestly coming on camera, opening up the truth of the story, validating my initial videos and my assumptions of what actually took place and why Logan Paul backed out of the slap competition in Russia. And as I mentioned, guys, definitely make sure to check out slap for cash on the right, his Instagram to see the uncut version. 
Trap Gambino. By the way, are you the manager, best friend? He's my manager. Gotcha. A little bit of both. Cash. Anything else is uncivilized. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say to the viewer base before we cut the interview or anything else you wanted to disclose, touch on about the whole Logan Paul situation? If you want no if you want real follow Slap for Cash. Hey. No, there ain't no acting. There ain't no This is real When I hit people, cash. it's real. And we, we would love to do a boxing match with this kid and show people at, with our cameraman being there and show what would happen if I got into the ring with this kid. So if he's willing to take a boxing match with me, let's go. You're supposed to be a fighter, bro. You're supposed to, I'm, I'm not going to sit back and just let you hit me. I'm going to hurt you, man. Let's go in the ring if you're a fighter. You want to do MMA and all this tough guy stuff. Second time around, I'm not going to pay to take a fall. I'm going to hurt you. So if you're really serious, let's get it going. Let's step in the ring and see what happens. <laughs> the suspense so that's what you guys can look forward to hopefully logan paul addresses this interview sees this interview or maybe it gets picked up by other youtubers and the word spreads of what actually took place and logan paul backs up the challenge or gets back to you about maybe doing a follow-up video who knows but i hope you guys enjoyed the video as i mentioned make sure to shoot these guys a follow it'll be in the description down below if you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe and i will catch you guys all in the next one peace all right man